mercy, baby. Yeah, yeah. Did it again. Hey gamers, what's happening? This is Quicksilver from Structure Gaming, and right now we're gonna check out the HD Revert Pack from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater HD, courtesy of the guys over at Activision and Sandbox Strategies. So right now there's been three new levels added in. We have Los Angeles, Airport, and Canada. We're gonna play all three of them for you tonight. There's also new music from Metallica, as well as Robert Chahelan, and James Hetfield from Metallica as playable characters. Now in this video you're not going to see me use Trehelan and Hetfield due to the fact that I do not have the characters leveled up, but you will see me use my personal character of Tony Hawk that has been leveled up throughout the series with my review and through my personal playing. So, right here you see that we have Los Angeles, a small intricate level, airport, and Canada. So without further ado, Canada, your largest level is going to be a lot of fun to play. You're going to see me play that in free skate later in the video. But right now, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go down to the smallest of the three maps, the intricate map, the fun map with big gaps, crazy jumps, some cool grinds, and a lot of fun to play for me. My favorite of the small maps in the Tony Hawk series, Los Angeles. So without further ado, let's just play this map and see some of the cool stuff that Los Angeles has to offer us, the Tony Hawk player. Now, as you can see, we open right up into a cool grind down these crazy stairways, and then you go to another stairway. Awesome. Like I said, a lot of technical little spots. I didn't actually explore the entire map throughout this. I should have explored a little more, but what I played of this map was a lot of fun. You can tune to Structure Gaming's YouTube at youtube.com slash structure gaming to see more of the map as I do a full free skate playthrough later this week. Ooh, that grind was sick. Now, one of the things I loved about playing through this map in the single-player career mode was is that it had a lot of crazy, different, cool things to do. One of my favorite things is, is if you just saw the two giant balls in the middle of this foyer-type area, if you jump over both, you get a challenge called free ball, in which... Well, for those of us guys, it's kind of funny to think about as, as a challenge. And I think it was geared as a sexual reference towards us men who sometimes decide not to wear any boxer shorts. <laughs> we, I'm flying. <laughs> okay. So as you can see here, it feels like I'm more going for high score than anything. But um, another thing I really liked about this level is, is that you really can use the environment of Los Angeles, the architecture. And as you can see here, this, this randomly placed fire truck that is not occupied by any firemen. So why don't we try and see if we can jump on it? Up, up, up. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Did it. And I fall. Typical me to fall in a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater video. What do you expect from me? Now this jump is called Hungover, and you can actually grind right up onto that pole that you saw a little bit above me and actually go for a higher score. Now let's go through the car wash. If you hit this whole thing, I believe you get a um, challenge that says all clean. I'm going to try that. Uh... Oh, I'm going to try it again. Oh, I freaking miss it. Man, I am not good at these, especially when I film the video ahead of time and then review it later. Oh, and I falled again. Should I already know all this crap. Man, I suck. <laughs> Finish out strong. Finish out strong. <laughs> Overall, I would love to play more of Los Angeles multiplayer modes. Awesome to play. Let's go right on and get into Airport. Airport is not my favorite level, but, you know, for a lot of fans, the fans of the New York Mall level and the fans of a multifaceted, multi-level style board, I should call it, this is cool. A lot of tight technical areas, a lot of big gaps once again, a lot of areas where you can get really high up and then fall purposely. So without further ado, let's play Airport. Now the thing I like about airport is is that this reminds me of a terminal in the North Carolina airport as I almost get run over by a guy in a golf cart, which is very common in the North Carolina airport. The one in Charlotte. Now as you can see here, very deep gaps. Also your uh, flight indicator areas are there and you can actually try to gap those as small as they are. You can gap the security area here as you see that I just did. Whee! <laughs> I'm grinding, mommy! <laughs> now, th this level, to me, still feels a little too open for its own good, and it doesn't offer enough for the fans. 
to play. I don't feel that there's enough in between. I just feel that there's a lot of yellow bars and things that you can grind on. And Wow, up, up. I'm going to go down into a garage now and grind on a light post. And I just feel like it's the same level over and over and over and over and over again. Why can't I go out onto the tarmac? I mean, come on. I want to grind on an airplane or, like, grind through an airplane or something fucking crazy like that. I mean, Tony Hawk is supposed to be known for some of the most crazy spots in gaming and in extreme sports gaming. I mean, grinding backwards up a pole is not fun. Okay. Granted that the pole is curved and the Flash probably could do it, but I'm not the fucking Flash. I'm Billy. Hi, nice to meet you. I don't have superpowers. I weigh about 275 pounds. I'm going to fall. I did it that time, and then I fell right back into the garage. <laughs> Excuse me for ranting during this review, but, you know, every now and again it's good to rant. I don't like those couches either. Very tasteless. Now, if this is an airport, I do have a question. Where the hell are the terminals? Where are the people? Where is TSA? Where are my air marshals? And why can I not hit a 900 on the flight indicator screens? Little historical fun fact for you. On June 29th of my 16th birthday, which was 1998, Tony Hawk hit his first 900 at the X Games. Kind of a cool... 16th birthday. Must say so myself. Enough of this level. I'm glad this part of the review is over. I give an up to this level. So let's go ahead. Let's make our way to Canada. I am going to turn us to free skate now. And I'm actually going to show you this level. This level is a little bigger than the others. I mean, very wide open, very organic, a lot of fun to play. Offers a lot of, I don't even know really how to say this, but a lot of natural gapping and, you know, shows creativity by skaters. Uh, this is a very naturally made skate park. Um, very cool to actually check out. So, as you can see here, it basically starts out in a parking lot of a skate park, and what you see is, is that we do have some quarter pipes and half pipes in the area, and that all throughout the parking lot there are pipes. But it gets more interesting from here. As you can see, you can grind along the signs, grind down onto the bars, go from there, and as we come back up and around to the left corner, you see that we have the play box there, and then you can go into a full-on skate park. But there is more to this level than that. I love what Activision did here. Now, notice I am grinding up a tree. Sounds kind of weird saying that. I'm grinding up a tree? I like that, though. I, 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 I'm, I'm interested in that. I like that I grind it on a tree. Now, as you can see here, there's a lot of natural landscape used in this. This isn't your natural, normal plywood skate park that somebody like Tim Glom would build. This is something that's very much built from log, wood. Oh, what a fall. And a lot of two-by-fours. This was made by skaters for skaters. And it offers kind of a really cool feel. It almost looks like the Ewok Village one now that I think of it. I mean, I feel like I'm supposed to see, like, Ewoks running around dancing and singing. Yub, yub. Wale, yub, yub. <laughs> I do love this level, though. I, I, I can say a lot about it. It's big. It's open. It's organic. It's vast. It's fun to play. I... Before I recorded this video and did this review, I played this level on Free Skate for a good hour and a half, trying to get up onto this goddamn plank, and I couldn't do it. I don't know why. Stay tuned to the YouTube. I'm going to try to get up there eventually, see what I can do. I doubt I'm going to be able to, because for some odd reason, I'm just not good at Tony Hawk anymore. Once you hit the age of 30, you're not good at Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, as my, as my nephew tells me. He says to me all the time, Uncle Billy, you are just not good at Tony Hawk anymore. Because apparently I'm not a part of the billionaires club in this game. <laughs> now we're going to finish up our review right about here, about another minute worth of footage. Um... Overall, the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater HD Revert Pack is now available on Xbox Live and PlayStation Network for a small price of 400 points. 
or four dollars and ninety nine cents. That's just about five dollars for these of you folks here in the states. This is an excellent pickup for the fans of the Tony Hawk series and anybody who's looking to add on to their Tony Hawk game and continue this wonderful classic experience. Now, for those of you who read my review back in July when the game came out, I did give this game a nine point five. I am going to give this HD revert pack an eight point five. Because of the fact of airport, I am not fully satisfied with this, but the additions of Canada and Los Angeles, as, lo as they are playable for a million years, are awesome. Robert Shahilan, James Hetfield, great additions. I'm a big Metallica fan, and hearing All Nightmare Long when I played this game was a lot of fun. Anyway, my name is Quicksilver from Structure Gaming. Like this video, subscribe to the YouTube. We will see you next time. Build your game, play beyond.